before I realized how I did it wrong the first time. You're supposed to braid it a little bit to keep it flat, and I didn't do that, so that's what we're gonna do. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alicia here, and today we are doing another natural hair style. Y'all, have y'all been listening to the Beyonce Cowboy Carter album? Listen, the way that album has already gone triple platinum in my house is wild. But especially like Levi's jeans, Protector, and Tyrant are my top three right now. And then right after that is um, Rubber Dance, Jolene, and Alligator Tears. But honestly, like the whole album eats, no skips. But yeah, I've been listening to Tyrant on repeat because that's my song. But no, y'all, I had to switch up what I was doing in my hair because, like, okay, if you're a natural hair girly, then I'm sure you are no stranger to like hairstyle fails. I want to try crisscross braids again, and I realized that I did it wrong the first time because. Or I realized how I did it wrong the first time. You're supposed to braid it a little bit to keep it flat. And I didn't do that. So that's what we're going to do. So to start out, all you're going to do is part your hair from ear to ear. You want a clear separation between the front and the back of your hair. Because that's going to come into the style later on. Give me some rubber bands, sis. Or you can braid it. Why is this thing not open? Then you want to do about four sections on either side of your hair. I love when my hair is already moisturized. I'm going to just put a little bit more on it because I like to make sure when I start manipulating my hair that I'm going through and keeping it good. Because it's already really moisturized, but I mean, hey, no harm in putting a little more, especially on these ends. cheat code is to put some wall growth hair oil on your braids not your braids on your uh rubber bands so that they don't snag or anything on your hair and then you just take the rubber band and you put it on your hair i did mine probably about like two or three times i wanted it tight enough to where it would hold the style but not too tight to where it felt like it was too tight on my head and then I pulled my hair just a little bit again enough to tighten it up and then I start braiding my hair down I think I did about a quarter of the way down my hair and then I left the rest free because what you're gonna do is you're gonna braid your hair a little bit because that's gonna be the piece that keeps it nice and like sleek looking and then you're gonna combine it with that back piece that I separated out from the beginning and like now that it's getting sunny, is anybody else starting to feel a lot more energy and a lot more creativity return to them? It's almost like I was hibernating and now that it's starting to get sunny out again, it's like, all right, the ideas are flowing. The motivation is coming right on back, which is so crazy. It's so crazy because I'm a December baby. So, you know, I love December. I love the cold because I love warm heated blankets. And like in the summer you can't really use those but <laughs> back to the style so you saw how i combined my two braids into each other again pull my hair through so that it just gets nice and tight but not too too terribly tight and then for this one i had twisted it up well braided it up first and then kind of like twisted it um but you'll see on the rest of my hair i don't do that because once i get to the part of the back of my head that kind of like goes with the front part then i'm just going to combine those into it and you'll see what i mean it'll make a little bit more sense as this video goes on but yeah y'all let me know in the comments if as the summertime gets here and like the springtime warms everything up if you start feeling a little bit more motivated and a little bit more excited in a sense like i don't like summer and spring because the bugs start coming out in full force like y'all yesterday i was house hunting and 
there were bees just everywhere just everywhere i was like my goodness it's only been hot for a couple of days because here i don't know about y'all but here it's been raining off and on so it's been hot but it hasn't been like scorching yet but yesterday the day was beautiful but my goodness it was like the bugs were out and about it's like hello suckers welcome back we here bust out that raid bust out that anti-mosquito spray baby because we are back okay the bears aren't the only thing that's out and about now that it's a little hotter you feel me like that's how i felt like that's what i felt like the bees were saying i don't know maybe it's just me but again i wanted to show y'all this full section or this full part full half yeah full half of my head um so y'all can kind of get what i was going for again i braid up the front section a little bit not even halfway just enough to where it'll feed into that next section and then i put the rubber band on there tighten it up by splitting my hair into two pieces and then i just kind of let it vibe until i get to the back top of my section where i can feed it in that way it kind of lays going towards the back of my head kind of like when i corner my hair how i have it laying back like that it'll look like that it'll look like that but the crisscross section that i did the front of my hair was mad cute so i was like okay hmm, i might have to keep it and especially since like i said my middle part my good sis she needed to break because i was starting to not lose hair but my hair was definitely starting to thin out right there which is normal when you start doing a style you know over and over again your hair kind of gets used to laying like that so this is just your little reminder to switch it up if you're starting to notice that your hair is starting to thin a little bit in some places because you might be over manipulating that section of your hair but i'm gonna let y'all you know just watch me vibe Okay, I know I said I'd let y'all just watch me, but I did just want to point out that the I split my hair once I get to the very top section that I'm going to feed into. I split that section into two, and then I used the third piece is the top of my hair where I had just let it kind of free ball before I got to the top of the back of my head. So I combine those pieces. I braid them up until I get about to where I feel like that top piece from the front of my hair is almost out and then I two strand twist the rest of my hair and twirl it around my finger and kind of lock it in so hopefully that made sense but I'll show y'all one more time This is the final look. I am going to put some hair jewelry on it. Um, but you can also do the same style with feeding hair if you want to. Make sure you open it up. And then you pluck it. Or you want it. Alright y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope somebody found it helpful. And this is another natural hairstyle that you can try if you want to. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.